It's quite simple what IMU is. You're Christian, you're Muslim, you're Yazidi, you're black, you're white, you know? We're the same. Refugee is not a tribe. You know, it's a word to describe a person that is fleeing. This thing that people are referring to as a refugee crisis, for me, it's disaster in the world, it's war. With Greece, I had like this feeling, every time I see a woman or a father or someone, I just see them as my family. What happened in Lesbos is that I realized that I have the power to help. And ever since I realized that I have the power to help, it's become a duty. They made all this journey just to survive and to have a good life, to have a human life. I was working for something, in the bath, in the Arab country, I was working for French, Italian and Turkey, of course. I think labeling a person as a refugee, you are saying you know what it's like to be a refugee and you know what it feels like. As a girl, it's so hard for me to hear like now, there are a lot of girls in ISIS hand and they are raped and kidnapped every day. We want those girls to be free again because I know they are dying every day. Somehow we've gotten used to not feeling. But when something hits you this hard, there is nothing really that can hide that pain. Like something I see a lot is just this unbelievable courage from any age, basically. We are pretending to make them happy, to make my parents happy. Oh, you can see us, we are all, my family smelling, playing music, painting, but we are in painful in our heart. Really. I was thinking in that moment when when they say the border is closed when we were in the island. When I, when they told my mom and when she's crying, I remember that moment. It was the hardest moment in my life. The love that they felt for each other, the respect that they had for their mother and their father, uh, where it's almost like they worship each other, they live for each other. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. I think I even had a moment of, of envy. You know, we talk about vulnerability. It makes you vulnerable to sit and let yourself feel that person's pain, you know, and you, you want to laugh, you want to cry with that person. Um, this to me is, is what you do in my world. <laughs> There's so much being taken care of, water, food, the bare necessities, but there's a big, big gap, and the gap is giving an outlet for expression or having somebody to talk to. I think in our work of trying to show people dignity and respect, our vision is to just humanize people. I mean, they're trapped here, more or less. But at least they could be free to a certain degree in their mind. It is, in my opinion, vital to create. That can be in any way. Cooking, building 
like extensions for your tent, painting, creating music, writing. From simple things to interacting with uh, community members, having tea with them, talking daily, being interested in speaking with them and hearing what their day is like and being excited about their life, to creating an art space, a library, or building a school. We're also trying to give them back that space, that space of being able to create something, of sort of finding who you are through expression. You see, you know, paint on the walls, you see, handprints, children and adults, you see paintings, you see flags, uh, you see expression. My dream, I want to continue my study. But before thinking about me, I always think about my mom. Feeling her smiling daily is making my day beautiful. I dream of someday having a power to change something. نزل إيده، ها؟ أنا جبت أكل هون مش عم نستقبل يكون أحسن. سوريا ما في. If you take away the religion, the skin color, the ethnicity, our fundamental platform is the same. We're reflections of each other. That is what IMU is, you know. Me telling you that you're the reflection of me, that we are the same and that that is okay, uh, that is beautiful. That's the uh, core of humanity. <laughs>